I don't feel happy in this pretty place when everyone is judging me away. I don't feel happy in this pretty place. Today, I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to become a better store. And you may be asking the question on why do I need to become a better store? What are the reasons? The reasons why you want to be a better store is in case you want to move up, in case you don't want to go to school and move up through the ladder aka becoming a PG, PA, and then eventually an area manager, you're gonna wanna know these steps. So just before we begin to become an area manager, you have to be there at least two to three years, so you have to move your way up. But your record starts by being good at every position that you are introduced and you're able to take responsibilities and it will require a lot of hard work. But then again, anything in life that you want to achieve requires some type of hard work. So my job is to make your life easier by giving you these five simple tips to be able to help you become one of the top stores on your team. So number one is that you wanna get there early. You wanna make sure you're there and pick a station that has good items. Normally, a lot of people will like to reserve a lot of stations. The closer you are, the better chance you have of getting better items because you are first come, first serve basis. So it's better to get better items the closer you are. That's why managers usually move their best stores up to the front because they wanna be able to give them small items constantly to have their rate up. Now, you may be wondering that like, well, well, managers are playing favorites. How do I compete against that? You have to kind of prove yourself that you're capable of hitting high numbers, even on a bad day. So for me, I was with my manager and he, he saw that I had a good day and I didn't really have good items. I was just very motivated that day. I just wanted to puts a little bit of effort, kind of like I would always test myself on how I can get bigger numbers, not to really get anywhere in that company. I was just trying to do it for myself. And he took notice and he started like moving me up to the front, giving me better items. And it's not really something I asked for. It's just something that he kept track of. So a lot of your managers will realize this and then you'll start getting a lot better items and you'll have higher numbers, etc. So now you have the small items in your playing field. You have them in your station. So what you do now is you move all the little items closer to you. That way you don't have to move back Back and forth grabbing a singular item because you may not believe it but every little second counts so every second you go grab an item and then come back and then stow it, it could take three to five seconds but if you have it closer to you you could do it in a matter of seconds now in case you have big items you could put them on the floor in front of your feet just make sure you don't trip over them and then it will give it easier access to be able to stow the bigger items into the pods that way you don't have to like go grab the big item get closer and I am gonna be showing you some examples of me being on replay which I have been top 10 on replant and I also have gotten top five on my team and I'm gonna put some pictures up here to show you guys that it is possible to do this make sure you're looking at the screen when you are stowing items if it doesn't say the word similar that means that the items are good and you can continue stowing them adjacent to each other this is a new rule that they changed you have to do like the robot sequence even if they were if they were same items but weren't similar you still have to stow on the robot format but they ended up changing this to this other format where you can stow them adjacently for some reason and they didn't tell us so i had to figure that out for myself and ask a bunch of managers because a lot of them actually didn't even know now i will say though be careful when it doesn't say similar because sometimes it won't say similar until you scan the other item so you'll know once you open a box if they have different colors just make sure you scan one check scan the other one check if it doesn't say that then i guess you're good to go now when you're waiting for a pot i know like this is your downtime this is where you want to chill but if you want to maximize your time use that to set up for the next batch so set up your boxes open up the ones you want the ones you need the ones you think you're going to need have different sizes set up that way when the pods do come up it doesn't matter what comes you're ready to go units per face now units per face is actually very important because units per face if you maximize this you're naturally going to have bigger numbers and they've proved it so many times by numbers so as long as you're stowing consistently and not like just letting pods go and and you'll have more units per face and you'll have higher numbers for the short people i know that like people are like well tall people can just reach up and stow which is i'm one of them but sometimes it's very uncomfortable for us to stow that way the ladder does make it easier as long as you have the ladder close to you and then you use it and then you put items on top i think you'll be fine to get your numbers up i know this is something that i don't have to struggle with but sometimes i do use a ladder and to minimize time i'll just keep it close now, if you enjoy these tips, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. The reason why I'm teaching you this again is just to make stowing a lot easier for you. That way you don't have to try when you're trying to get numbers. Like the reason why I wanted to improve was because I wanted to come to work, get my numbers and go home. I didn't want to put too much effort into stowing. I didn't want to like try and work hard and be exhausted. I want to be able to come home, have energy for my family, 
for, for my friends, for my hobbies, etc. And this is a way for me to maximize my time. It's a way to work smart and not hard. Anyways, if you missed my last video on how to get started on Amazon and what to expect, then make sure to click above and then you'll see my video right there.